Today for my fourth video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the downside of being a vegan. I know there's tons of upsides and they obviously outweigh the down, but I wanted to do a video specifically for vegans talking about the downside. Um, I think the hardest part is waking up in the morning um, and feeling like the day before you failed a few million animals because they still were abused and slaughtered and you weren't able to do anything about it. Um, it's being surrounded by people who your whole life you've either respected or loved and wondering how they can say things to you like, well, I can't give up cheese or steak while they fully know what happens in order for those things to be made. Um, it's being called a radical because you care about animals, because you're not willing to stand by quietly while it happens. Another hard part is knowing that there's pigs out there that are as intelligent as three-year-old children that are kept in little crates the size of what would be the equivalent of putting a three-year-old in a cardboard box, um, and that they're driven insane by day in and day out being stuck in that tiny little area and having nothing to do to the point where they go crazy and chew on metal bars for fun. I mean, it's knowing that there's cows out there, mother cows, whose babies are taken away from them, and they're going through the same mental trauma that any species, human or animal, would go through to have their baby taken away. Um, and yet, thinking this is only done so that people can drink the lactation from another species and think that's normal. Um, it's knowing that the corpse of entire chickens sit in the front of grocery stores that have been roasted, and people think it's entirely normal to look at it and think, should I get that for dinner? Um, it's knowing that people are willing to pay for all these sorts of things. They're willing to give people money to abuse and slaughter animals, but then don't want to know what happens You know, if you try to tell them what's happening to the animals or there's a video out there that they can watch, they don't want to see because they'd rather remain blissfully ignorant. It's getting to the point where you are so pissed that you are willing to piss off hunters by pointing out the fact that there's nothing sportsmanlike about sitting in a tree and shooting at animals simply because you enjoy the fun of killing something and feeling powerful about that. And then it's lying in bed awake for one or two hours a night wondering how tomorrow is going to be different. How are you going to fight the ignorance that exists in the world that allows this to happen? And then you wake up the next day and you feel bad because you failed a few million animals the day before that were still abused and killed.